Hi everyone. So uh, today I have came up with a, a very good patient, uh, although a very rare patient. Probably many of us may not see such patient again in, in our life. So I thought, why not make the video of such patient, which would uh, increase our knowledge in managing such patients. So we had this patient few weeks back, who is a 33 year old male patient, uh, who presented to us with gradually increasing breathlessness over many days. So I thought that uh, I should admit this patient and examine him. On the very first instance, when I asked the patient to expose the chest. I observed his precordium. It was clearly a very pulsatile, hyperdynamic uh, looking precordium. So let us see first. Side by side, I'll keep explaining what uh, this uh, patient kept on indicating me and what did I get once I got done his echocardiography. So let us see this patient. So this is the patient who presented to me with history of breathlessness. If you pay attention to his precordium, you can see that he has tachycardia unexplained since many years. His suprasternal region is showing these pulsations just like dancing carotids, although they are not, but suprasternal pulsations are dancing. You can see this hyperdynamic uh, apical impulse, which is uh, dancing like anything. He is having pulsations all over his abdomen. He has pulsations all over his parasternal region. When I put my hand on the parasternal region, I could clearly feel the parasternal heave with the side of my palm. I also tried to palpate his apical impulse which indicated a thrill in my hand. So it was very clear that there must be some murmur that is hitting my hand. So it was a murmur with thrill. Simultaneously, when I auscultated this patient, this patient showed me uh, a clear cut machinery continuous murmur. So my diagnosis was clear clinically that either this patient has a PDA or he may have something else that can cause a machinery type of continuous murmur. So I decided why not to do his 2D echo right at the uh, nick movement. So let us see what his echo actually showed to us. Thoda sa is taraf ghum jaiye. So when I tried doing his echo, look, his echo clearly showed something wrong with his aortic cusp. If I again project the monitor, this aorta is showing something which is hanging on from the right aortic arch right on the first instance. So when I try to tilt the probe, see there is something attached to the right coronary cusp which is looking like a secular aneurysm that is going near the tricuspid valve but you can see a clear gap between the tricuspid valve and the secular aneurysm so this is something that is definitely arising from the aorta so i thought why not to again interpret and try to do some good views so i tried this short axis view on the patient which clearly showed this is the rcc this is the lcc this is the ncc and you can see a uh, large secular uh, aneurysm coming out from the RCC. So by this time it was very clear for me that this is nothing but a sinus of Valsalva. So this picture alerted me and I tried to take his four chamber view which confirmed my suspicion that this is indeed a sinus of Valsalva. On the short, short axis view it clearly showed that this sinus of Valsalva is coming from the right coronary cusp. Now my con for concern was since the patient is so much uh, into cardiac failure that he has this D-shaped septum. So I was nearly confirmed that this patient might have a rupture of the sinus of Valsalva. I put color in the uh, four chamber view and clearly this showed that this sinus of Valsalva is rupturing into the right atrium leading to these problems of hyperdynamicity. So it was very clear that this patient is going to have problems in the future because there was so much complications in his 2D echo findings. When I com uh, was continuing my, equa uh, my uh, examination, I thought that why not to search for other things. Apart from this rupture of the sinus of Valsalva, I tried putting the color on his arch of aorta and you can see in this image that the arch is clearly showing holodiastolic reversal because all the color that is going back into the ventricle is getting red in color because our probe is here. So the doubt was very clear that when I put a pulse wave Doppler, I will get something 
that is called as the holodiastolic flow reversal this is the systole this is the systole between them is the diastole and you can see clear cut holodiastolic signals throughout the systole so this patient is a case of ruptured sinus of valsalva arising from the right coronary cusp which is draining into the right atrium and leading to all these hyperdynamic complications in addition to severe ar which is going back along the arch of aorta leading to holodiastolic flow reversal this is indeed a rare case which where you which you don't find very uh, frequently so i guess that the next time that you get uh, such case of uh, uh, such kind of picture on 2d echo do give sinus of valsalva a thought and look for whether it is ruptured off or not but remember nothing is complete without a proper clinical suspicion so i hope this would be useful to every one of us who pays attention and see such videos and keep on which watching them very regularly Thank you for your patient work.